Welcome again. Hope everyone is okay. In this lecture, we continue with present simple tense. As we've mentioned before, we can use this tense to express facts or regular actions. In the last lecture, we've practiced using present simple tense to talk about daily routines as an example of regular actions. In this lecture, we practice using present simple tense to introduce people or describe them as example of expressing facts or what we have called previously social facts. To introduce people or describe people, we will need verb to be and the expression have got. Let's revise together verb to be in the present simple tense. Look carefully at the table. In the third column, you can see verb to be in the affirmative form. We have the full form and the abbreviated one. As we say, I am or I am, he is or his, we are, we are, and so on. Then we have verb to be in the negative form. Also in the full form and the abbreviated form. I am not, or I am not, he is not, is not, they are not, they aren't, and so on. Then we have examples, and we have verb to be in the interrogative form, or using verb to be to make questions. In the last count. For example, we have the sentence, I'm happy. To make a question, are you happy? And we have a sentence, he is tall. To make a question, is he tall? We have, um, they are his cousins. To make a question, are they his cousins? And so on. Here is another table to revise the expression have got in the present simple tense. Take a quick look at the table. You'll notice here in column 3 we have the expression have got in the affirmative form. For example, he has got, this is the full form, or he's got, this is the abbreviated form. Uh, we have got, we've got, they have got, they've got, and so on. In the fourth column, we have the expression have got in the negative form, also in the full form and the abbreviated one. Uh, he has not got or he hasn't got. We have not got, we haven't got. You have not got, you haven't got. Then we have examples and in the last in the last column we see how to use the expression have got to make a question. For example, uh, it's got a long tail. To make a question, has it got a long tail? Uh, they've got three cousins. To make a question, have they got three cousins? 
you have got blue eyes. Have you got blue eyes? And so on. And of course, the answer will be yes, I have, no, I haven't. Yes, she has, no, she hasn't. Yes, they have, no, they haven't. And so on. As we said, we use have got to describe people. Uh, as we say, she's got long hair, she's got blue eyes. We can also use have got to talk about people who uh, have a, a, a relation of some kind to a certain person, like family members, uh, friends, colleagues, and so on. Well, here's the example. So the example says, a mouse got two brothers, and we may say, I have got um, three cousins, uh, uh, the cat has got a white tail, and so on. Uh, we may also use have got to talk about position or ownership. Uh, we say they have got a blue car, uh, they've got bikes, uh, I've got um, a black bag, and so on. <coughs> we may also use it to express temporary states, like I've got cold or I've got a problem. But you must pay attention here that have got isn't used in, in short answers. Uh, take a look there at the question here. Has she got long hair? When we answer using the short form, we may say yes she has or no she hasn't. Only yes she has, not she has got. Okay? Now let's practice describing people. We'll start by writing some of the adjectives. Well, look at the picture and try to match the most suitable adjective that describes the picture. For example, look at the first picture. Which adjective better describes the first picture? It's previous here. The picture is about the hair. We have straight hair, curly hair, long hair, wavy hair, and short hair. Think carefully. Yes, the first picture curly hair. We say she has got curly hair. She's got curly hair. The second picture. The one next to it, it's also about her. Yes, it's straight hair. We say she's got straight hair. She's got straight hair. And so on. Go on through the pictures and try to finish the exercise. Here is another exercise. Yet, the adjectives here describe personality. Describe the character, not the physical appearance. We have the adjectives lazy, shy, friendly, hardworking, cheerful, selfish, helpful, and generous. Okay. Take a look at the first picture. Which adjective better describe the picture? What about the character of the boy in the picture? Yes, selfish, yes. He is selfish, he is selfish. 
the picture next to it? What about the little girl behind the door? How can we describe her character? How can we describe her personality? Yes, she's shy. She's shy. Go on and finish the exercise. Now, you have to read the following paragraphs to fill in the following table. Let's read the first paragraph. For example, Hi, let me introduce my classmate. Her name is Melissa and she's 11 years old. She's got long hair. She's got long, wavy, red hair. Pay attention to the arrangement of the adjectives. Long, wavy, red hair. We mention the length, the form, then the color. Long or short. Wavy or straight or curly, red or brown or black or white, and so on. So she's got long, wavy red hair, big brown eyes, big brown eyes, and lots of freckles on her cheeks. She's short and slim. She is very friendly and helpful and very optimistic too. She sees the bright side of everything and everyone. I couldn't have found a better classmate to sit next to me in class. So, Melissa is 11. She has got long, wavy, Red hair, what about her eyes? Big and brown. What about her body? She's short and slim. What about her character? She's friendly, helpful, optimistic. In this way, you should read the next two paragraphs about Cindy and Mark. Okay, let's fill in the table. Okay, the first, the first column is about Melissa. We have just read about Melissa. We'll talk about age. Age Melissa is, as we've read, is 11. What about her hair? It's long, wavy, and red. What about her eyes? Uh, her eyes are a big and brown. What about her height? Is she short or tall? She's short. What about her weight? Is she fat or thin or slim? She's slim. What about her personal features, her character, her personality? We said that she's friendly, she's optimistic. Go on and finish the table. Go These were paragraphs describe one of the persons in the pictures to the left. What you're gonna do is to read the paragraph and try to guess who is it describing, who is it talking about. Let's take the first one for example. Mark is in his 50s. He's got short, straight, black hair and black moustache. He's wearing blue jeans, a 
purple t-shirt and gray shoes. He looks upset. So Michael is in his 15, so he's an old man. Uh, his hair is black and short. He also has a mustache. He he's wearing blue jeans, purple t-shirt, and gray shoes. So, which one is Michael? Yes, the old man in the second row, who's wearing blue. Go on, read the paragraphs and try to match the description to the most suitable picture. While reading, pay attention. How do they describe people? Reading the previous descriptions, now you can know where to use verb to be or the expression have got to describe people. What you're gonna do now is to finish the paragraph using either is or has. Let's read the paragraph together. Betty. 12 years old and she English she a very nice little girl she got long straight brown hair her face round and her nose very small she got black eyes she slim she likes music that's why she music listens three times a week. Of course, Betty is 12 years old. And she is English. Okay, go on, finish the exercise. Now, meet Emma Green. We we'll read about Emma, then try to answer the questions below. This is Emma Green. She's 12 years old and she's an Australian student. Her favorite school subject is physical education. She's an energetic girl. She loves playing tennis and swimming. Emma is very beautiful. She's tall and thin. And she's got long straight brown hair. Her eyes are big and green. She's got a small nose and thin lips. Read the paragraph again about Emma Green. To answer the following question. How old is Emma? Look at the paragraph. This is Emma Green. She's 12 years old. So how old is Emma? The answer is Emma is 12 years old. Where is she from? What's her favorite school subject? What's she like? Is she fat? How does she look like? Read the paragraph again, then answer the questions.
Here is a learning strategy to help you create your own glossary of adjectives. What you're gonna do is to read all of the previous exercises again and again and again. Why? To extract the adjectives. Extract the adjectives, then classify them in the table. As a final exercise, I need you to use the picture to describe the character. The character says, my name is Rapunzel and I'm 17. Okay, describe the, the character in a paragraph or two, talking about her physical appearance and her personality. For homework, I need you to introduce and describe one of your relatives. Choose any one of your relatives or friends or classmates or whoever you want and introduce him or her, then describe him or her. Pay attention. You must talk about physical appearance or physical features or how does he or she look like and you must talk about personality or how is he or she like. Thank you.